here comes what I'm I'm thinking is going to be a disagreement because I mean you were just flat out disrespectful about Le'Veon Bell just moments ago, and I'm all aboard this week. I'm not going to lie, Le'Veon Bell with no Clyde edwards hilaire priced appropriately sitting there on the board, 5,800 at home, massive favorites, team total above 32. I'm locking them in in cash games. I'm eating the chalk. No shot. What do you mean no shot? Bro, I'm not playing Le'Veon Bell in 2020. Like, that's just asking to burn money. I would play you at 5,800 in, in the Chiefs' backfield in this spot. <laughs> Why? Why, though? Like, what game was it where Clyde Edwards Hilaire was out recently and Le'Veon Bell saw the bulk of snaps and did nothing? Was it the Denver game in week 13? Mm hmm. It was yeah, week 13. He had, he had 13 touches. Yeah. 55 yards. Mm hmm. Seven points. Okay. Yeah. He sucks, bro. He literally just sucks. And I've kind of been on it this season where if I think you suck, I'm probably not playing you. Like, same thing with Brian Hill. Cut like a couple weeks ago when he was chalk at 4K. We both faded him. Same thing with Brandon Cooks a couple weeks ago. I personally faded him because I just don't think he's that good of a player. So I'm just fading players in 2020 that I believe personally are trash. And I think Le'Veon Bell is trash. Now he can probably maybe get five, six targets in this game. I don't think he's going to be able to run on Atlanta because the Chiefs are just going to throw the ball 45 times and he sucks too. So yeah, I'm just not playing Le'Veon Bell this week. Absolutely unequivocally no chance I'm playing him on DraftKings. Maybe in tournaments, not in cash games. Absolutely no shot. And if you play him, like you're kind of just burning your money. So damn making me feel like I got the lighter up to my wallet right now, but I'm just, I'm, I'm flicking it anyways. I'm playing him. See, he outtouched Daryl Williams 16 to three in Clyde Edwards absence for the duration of the game last week against New Orleans. I mean, it only takes one touchdown for him to get there. Well, salary. Okay. And, and to me, I would rather play him in cash than in tournaments because I don't think the ceiling is there but in cash especially because he's going to be chalk like he is going to be chalk he's going to get talked up i'm already hearing the rumblings across you know the dfs tout scape whatever you want to call it and uh he's going to be owned people are going to want to play him running back is ugly this week i'm just going to eat the chalk the total is too big i mean yeah those are all valid points but i think that we weren't playing ceh at the same price tag even with Le'Veon bell basically not being involved in the Chiefs offense earlier in the year when CEH price tags got diminished a lot, right? And even in the in the past couple of weeks, like CEH was not cash viable and Le'Veon Bell had a game where he touched the ball three times or four times, excuse me, against Miami. Mm-hmm. CEH wasn't cash viable. Uh, this is just a team that doesn't want to run the ball a lot. So I don't see the rushing attempt upside. And then Mahomes rarely ever checks the ball down to his running backs. Now, I will say in a high total game with the highest team total, he could get five, six targets. Uh, Do I think he does anything with those targets? No shot. Do I think he has any upside on the ground? No chance. So I'm not playing Le'Veon Bell this week. I don't think he has 20 point upside. When he's on the field, he looks slow. He looks terrible. And then you combine that with the fact that The Chiefs are probably just going to throw the ball. Kelsey's probably going to get 15 targets. Tyreek Hill, if he plays, is probably going to get 18 targets. Just no chance I'm playing Le'Veon Bell this week. I mean, I'll let everybody else play him because he's a bad play, 100%.